So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse. Unfortunately, all of these seasonal challenges are done with. Uh, yeah, all the challenges are done. As you guys can see, week 10 is here. There's no week 11. Uh, that's unfortunate. You would think the longest season we've ever had will we'll throw the like at least a few more see a few more weeks because you know again let me reiterate longest season ever and i definitely don't want to hear people say well, we got the 30th anniversary and all this shit yeah, 30th you gotta pay for that shit dog so don't 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 even start with me so very unfortunate but whatever um yeah let's just get it so the first thing we're going to look at is not Amethyst Feather. We're going to look at Dread and Blast, uh, which is an emote that I don't know where it's from. I kind of hate it. Uh, the Vanguard Dare, which I want it just for the name alone, but the ornament, I mean, if you can call it that, it's literally just a shader, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, there's probably something different about it. I just, it just, it does not look good at all to me. So, yeah, I'm not getting that. Uh, Nemean projection. I'm, I don't care. So Amethyst Veil. Let's talk about Amethyst Veil. This is probably one of the best shaders in the game, especially if you want to go for an all black look. Uh, Amethyst Veil is definitely going to be a shader you're going to want to look at because as you guys can see, the stompies are almost all black. I say almost because obviously you have yellow there, but that's not the Amethyst Veil's fault. But right here, you can see there's a little bit of blue. Other than that, it's all black, baby. Um, same thing with the chest piece. Unfortunately, that's not like the blue here and the yellow here is not the shader's fault. That's the armor itself. I just realized almost all the armor pieces I have have pieces that you can't change the shade. Actually, all of them. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, yeah, there's blue, black and like a silver chrome. And there's a, like a dark blue here. It's definitely one of the best shaders in the game, hands down. Like, I'm not, no one's gonna fight me on this. It's really good. So, if you wanna get an all, all black look, this is definitely the shade you're gonna wanna go for. Uh, for the other things, you're gonna get double dance, uh, double hands dance, which I don't care. Death Wish, which, in my opinion, I have to see the sh how it shaders first. This is why I want uh, Bungie to have like a shader thing here, so that way we can see because most of the time there's going to be spots where it's just that you thought you're going to change this spot no or this spot or this spot it's goddamn the armband if the armband doesn't change color like <clears throat> this wouldn't be a problem if bungie just let us change the shader on all of the pieces but you know fucking i'm wearing an armor set that has literal pieces that you can't change color bro oh my god this pisses me off obviously i'll have the the titan and warlock right now For the Nemean Chariot, it's not cool for me. I don't like it. Like personally, I don't like it. Um, I usually never pick up the like the shit the the sparrow, ghost, and ship combinations just because most of the time they're either not worth it or I'm not gonna waste my bright dust on it when I have like other stuff that I would destroy my bright dust on. Uh, same thing with the Nemean shell. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, it, it's okay. It's just that I don't care about it. Uh, hand Cannon Vogue, on the other hand, you definitely want to pick this one up. This is from JoJo's. It's fucking great, and I love it. At least I think it's from JoJo's. And it's it's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, Laden Dance, which I already have the Superior Cloud Strike ornament. So for me, this one's just like, nah, I'm never picking this one up. Uh, I'm not looking at that. Uh, Precursor Vex Chrome, also one of the best shaders in the game, in my opinion. It gives it a very like, like almost like a desaturated gold, almost like a bronzish, maybe. I don't know. It's one of my favorite shaders in the game. Uh, I'm currently wearing it on my all Vex Warlock right now, so as you guys can see, that's how it looks. It looks really cool. I de again, one of my favorite shaders in the game. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it, it with cloth, the gold looks kind of weird, but other than that, like on armor itself, it looks super cool. 
and it's definitely one of my favorite shaders uh ancient republic not my favorite shader definitely not one of my favorites but it does give this really cool purple it, if you can find just purple stuff on it although i've seen people work with the purple and red i've seen some cool combinations with it so i mean definitely like go all in if you really want it and last but not least iridescent coral which i love the very chrome blue that it's given out and that's really it actually i just like the chrome look uh the colors are pretty much whatever's honestly like it's not bad it's just i don't really give a shit uh I would suggest just picking up all of these because all of these are old as dick, specifically Precursor of X Chrome. This one's from Curse of Osiris, which is a long time ago. Same thing with uh, Ancient Republic. This is from Warmind. It's, it's, these are old, all old as fuck. Let me just say that. So that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, we couldn't have more weeks. That's weird. That's, that's still there. Uh, we couldn't have more seasonal challenges, so you're gonna have to complete all of the ones that are already available to us. I'm still missing quite a few just because uh, I think these weeks were like the weeks that I was technically off because my internet was really bad. Uh, so yeah, you definitely want to do them because the Master of All gives you like 3,000 bright dust if I remember correctly. 3,000? It might be, it might be 3,000, it might be 6,000. I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will most likely be streaming right after this video is out. So if you guys want to catch me live, it's fixed. Uh, Twitch.tv slash fixedtony. You guys can catch me there. We're going to be playing some Destiny 2. We're going to be playing uh, Crucible. Specifically, we're going to be doing Iron Banana. I'm excited because I love Iron Banana. <clears throat> and my character is actually 1330 now. So... It's gonna be smooth sailing from here. There you go, 1330. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys catch me on the live stream. I thank you a ton and I will see you guys later.